Higher God, and we glorify you tonight. We bless you tonight, Father. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. And God, we enter into your courts with praise. And Father, we're thankful unto you. And we bless your name. Why? Because you are good. Hallelujah. And your mercy, it endures forever. Lord, you are good. And your mercy, it endures forever. Now, Father, even now, Father, we pray now that you would wash us, oh God. And we pray that you would cleanse us, oh God, with your pure and your cleansing blood. Father, we pray that you would wash us from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. Father, we pray now that you would create in us a clean heart and that you would renew a right spirit within us, oh God. And Amanda, Father, we pray now that you move every hindrance, God, in the name of Jesus, hey, let nothing stop your presence from flooding us. Let nothing stop your presence from invading us. Father, even now, we empty ourselves of ourselves. And we make room for you. And we pray now that you would fill us up tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Fill us on tonight. Fill us on tonight. Fill us on tonight. Father, we pray now. Hallelujah. That you renew our minds on tonight. That you renew our spirits on tonight. Those things that we need to repent of. Father, we pray now that you move on our hearts, God. Hey, Shana. Move on our hearts, God. In the name of Jesus, hey, help us to let go of everything that's not like you, God. Yes, Lord, we want a real altar experience, God. We need you to change us tonight. Change us tonight. We come with the burnt offering. We come with the offering of sacrifice tonight. In the name of Jesus, hey, we don't want to leave the same way that we came. We don't want to leave the same way that we came. But God, we pray that you do a supernatural work in us. Do a supernatural work in us. Do a supernatural work in us. Cleanse us from all iniquity. Cleanse us from envy. Cleanse us from jealousy. Cleanse us from strife. In the name of Jesus, let my mind the whole side. Yes, Lord. Have your way in this room. Have your way in this room. Have your way in this room. Let us do as you did. You quoted in the book of John that they that worship, they must worship in spirit and in truth. Let us come in to worship you in spirit and in truth tonight, God. Have your way in us. Have your way in us. We glorify you. We glorify you. We lift you up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, I am. hallelujah, hallelujah, God, we bless you, we magnify you, we exalt you, we worship you, we gather in this place today, God, for your presence, so even now, God, we decree fire, we call down your supernatural fire, we decree fire on the altar, we decree fire in the sanctuary, we decree fire in the atmosphere, even now I command the atmosphere to shift, I decree and I declare that the gates of worship are open on tonight, we tap into the spirit realm and we open the gates of worship, we tap into another dimension of worship, we decree that a sound is getting ready to be released tonight that will shake the foundations of this building. I decree and I declare that we shall all build individual altars right where we sit, right where we stand. We create an altar, even with the living God. We pour out ourselves upon you, God. Have your way tonight, God. We decree that all flesh will die, but the spirit of the living God shall rise even now. So Jehovah Jireh, invade the atmosphere. Jehovah the Lord, invade the room. Have your way. Take your place. We give you permission, Holy Spirit, to rest, rule, and abide in the sanctuary. We drive out every unclean spirit. We decree and we declare that this shall be an atmosphere of an unadulterated, a pure worship. We decree and we declare that every devil that came on assignment today to 
destroy the plans that you have for this work. We call it down to the ground. Say that the Lord rebukes you. Say that the Lord rebukes you. We put the fire against you. I decree tonight that every song that is sung, you will get the glory. I decree that every prayer that is prayed, you will get the glory. We don't want our flesh to glory tonight, but we want the Spirit of God to reign amongst us. So now, God, have your way. I call for the Spirit of the living God to descend from heaven and rest in the atmosphere. I command the weight of glory to be in the house tonight. I decree that a shift is getting ready to hit the lives of those that would hear what said the Lord tonight. So God, have your way. Move up and down the aisles. Go from row to row, from door to door. Let your spirit be felt, oh God. Let your glory be made manifest tonight. I pray that you will use every vessel that will come into the pulpit, oh God. Anoint them afresh. Use them for your glory. Let them operate in power. Let them operate in glory. Let your anointing rest on the minstrels. I decree unity amongst the minstrels. Let them play on one accord. Let them hear the songs of Zion tonight. I pray and I ask, oh God, that you will bless the visionary. Bless the words of his hands. I pray that you, oh God, will give him a double portion for his sacrifice tonight. I decree that the altar worship experience will not be in vain, but I decree change tonight. I decree that we won't leave the way in which we came, but I thank you even now, God, that your fire is stirring us, oh God, that your spirit is dwelling amongst us. So I pray and I ask, oh God, that you will come in, come into the room and see about us, oh God. We have assembled under your name, but the Bible tells us to forsake not the assembly. So now that we are here, we don't forsake the gathering, but we take advantage of this moment to pour out our worship, to pour out our praise, to give you what is due to your name. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a sovereign God. You are a strong God. You are the great that I am. You are the lily of the valley. You are the rose of Sharon. You are the bright and morning star. You are that we are, and for that we say thank you. We thank you, God, for what's getting ready to take place. We decree that the gates of worship are already open. We decree that the gates of worship are already open. We decree that the angels of the Lord are being released even now to stand guard in the sanctuary against every ungodly attack that will try to come against us. I cover this place under the blood. Every entrance the blood. Every exit the blood. Every microphone the blood. Every seat the blood. Blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood that has power to heal, set free, and deliver is already here. So we clap our hands in surrenderance to the will of the Lord. We clap our hands in agreement with intercession. So now have your way and move by your spirit and move by your power. And we'll give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's make a Shabbat in the room. Let's release a sound. Come on, open your mouths. Let's release a sound. Hallelujah. Come on, he's been good to us. He's been kind to us. Come on, open your mouths and give him glory. Come on, open your mouths and give him glory. Come on. Come on, we need to rule the ship. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and give the glory. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb of God and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Listen, we come into atmospheres like this and places like this. This is not a concert, but this is a safe place. This is a safe space. And we want to create a river so that God can come in. And we just want to ride the wave of glory. Hallelujah. 
And so whatever he wants to do tonight, that's what we'll yield to. Hallelujah. And you don't have to stay in your seat. You can worship up here. You can lay out whatever you need to do. Hallelujah. To connect with God. There is no restrictions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we just want to give God glory on tonight because he's worthy of all glory. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy of all glory. And he's worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. And so we just release a spirit in here tonight. Hallelujah. Of expectation. Come on. Yeah. We come to church, but we're not expecting no more. Come on. We release a spirit of expectation on tonight. Expect God to move. Expect God to touch you. Expect God to give you your answers. Come on. Expect God to do a do a new thing. Expect God to restore. Expect God to revive tonight. Come on, people of God. Expect Him. Hallelujah. Expect Him to respond tonight. Hallelujah. Woo! Let's, let's go. High praise.
Lord, let what we do be pleased. Let the stage be torn down. And let the altar be rebuilt. Let the stage be torn down. And let the altar be rebuilt. The altar is a safe place for the broken. The altar is a safe place for the abused. The altar is a safe place for those who've been misused. Woo! So come. Serve. Yeah. 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 He says, I'm going to 
to be able to create safe places like this. Hallelujah. With those of us that serve but we're worn out. Those of us that serve but we're broken and we're torn. Hallelujah. And, 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 and people judge us when we cry. And people judge us when we lay out. Hallelujah. And we don't want to look like it's me again. But it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Hey, uh, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. So God wants you to come tonight and say, it's me, oh Lord. There will be a breakout in this service. And when God comes in, let him have his way. Nobody is going to have to lay hands on you, but God's going to touch you himself. Hallelujah. For it's time for the people of God to be restored. Hallelujah. Your faith needs to be restored. Some of y'all ain't living. Some of y'all are just existing. You have no hope. You have no expectation. But the expectancy of the Lord is getting ready to hit this room like never before. And you get ready to believe again. You get ready to trust again. Come on here. Come on here. You get ready to see the promise of the Lord. You get ready to live in the surety of the Lord. You get ready to live in the abundance of the Lord. And I hear the Lord say, you won't give out. You won't give out. You won't give out. You won't be dry. You won't be dry. But I replenish you. Jesus, and we seek you. We seek you 
and only you. Only you can heal. Only you can deliver. Only you can set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you with our hands lifted. We come to you open. We come to you ready. Ready to receive. Ready to receive what you have for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover our minds, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover our minds from impure thoughts. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing to the mind right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way in this place. God, whatever you have us do, we say yes to it. Whatever you have us say, we say yes to it. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't hear y'all praying. Y'all got to pray with me. We have to go together. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way in this place, Lord. Break the bondage in this place, Lord. Set the atmosphere. We, have, we invite you in, God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you seeking for healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal right now, oh God. Cover the mighty your people, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind depression right now. In the name of Jesus, for those of us who are depressed, for those of us who are strung out, for those of us who are weary, in the name of Jesus, give us, give us the endurance that we need, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we need you. We're begging. We're begging. We need a touch from you, God. We need a touch from you, Father. Holy Ghost, have your way. Let your Holy Ghost fire fall through this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch us, God. From the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're coming for you. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, do it on today, whatever you, whatever is on our hearts, oh God. You said ask and it shall be given. Lord, we're asking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you even lift the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, it can't overtake us. It can't take us down. We won't allow it. In the mighty name of Jesus, use us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch every person in this place. Every family represented. Every church home represented. Every leader in here, oh God. In the name of Jesus, touch right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, use them, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, do something new within them, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way on today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we need you. We need more of you. We surrender. We surrender every care, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe in your word. We believe in your plan for our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we stand in agreement with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we stand in agreement with you. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, let's go there. Come on, let's go there. Come on, let's go there. Come on, let's go. There. Don't get scared. Don't get scared of our soul. You're not hiding in the hole. We fight to it, Lord. We fight to it. In you there's no giving up. When we get tired, Lord, give us the push. Give us the push. Give us the push. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cast away doubt. We cast away fear. In the mighty name of Jesus. It won't be here. It doesn't belong here. Devil, you have no authority in this place. Hallelujah. You have no authority in this place. You have no authority over us, over our health, over our bodies. We belong to God. We will be used for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We will hear. Open our ears, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Anoint our ears, Lord, so that we may hear you clearly in the spirit of God. No distractions. No setbacks in the mighty 
the mighty name of Jesus, give us a mind like you. We pray for like minds on tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray for like minds on tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we decree and declare victory in this place. Hallelujah. Victory in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Take away struggle. Take away discouragement. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, your plan will become clear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We lift our hands and we thank you in advance for the blessings. We thank you in advance for what we're going to receive. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you in advance for with the word that you're going to give us tonight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you in advance for the answer to the questions that we have. We thank you in advance, Lord, for all that you're going to do. Even in the near future, God, we believe in you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you right now, God, in front In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, give us the plan of God for the purpose. Push us towards purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to do what you want us to do. Hallelujah. We want to do what you want us to do. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Break the barrier. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And allow us to do what you want us to do. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Now open up your mouth for a moment and give God a praise. Come on. I need you standing all over the building in reverence to the Holy Father. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, y'all too lax for me. Open up your mouth. This is a moment of breakthrough. This is a moment of healing. This is a moment of deliverance. Come on, open up your mouth and give God a praise in this house. Come on, Zion, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We have do we have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Come on, I need you to open up your mouth for a moment and give God a praise. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, I don't hear you. Come on, I don't hear you. Come on, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Come on, I don't hear you. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth and bless him. Open up your mouth and bless him. Come on, open up your mouth and bless him. I can't hear you. Come on, I can't hear you. Come on, I can't hear you, Zion. Come on, I can't hear you, Zion. Come on, I'm not moving until it breaks. I don't know what this is, but I declare it break in the name of the Lord Jesus. I don't know what this spirit is, but I declare it breaks now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I need you moving. I need you walking. Every intercessor in the building, I need you praying. Come on, open up your mouth and bless you. Try 
them and you're gonna leave with it. So I tell you in the moment that you're in, open up your mouth.
He's a great redeemer. Hallelujah. And it's so befitting that this is an altar night. And how many know that when you come into an altar, there's a sacrifice that has to be made? Hallelujah. And I can't help, I can't help but think of the story of Abraham and Isaac. And Abraham going to offer up the sacrifice of Isaac. Through obedience to his God, he goes to offer up his own son. And how many know? Isaac wasn't as young as some of us think when we think of that story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Isaac going on and making observations as they go to make the sacrifice. And he's wondering, where is the lamb? Where is the lamb? What are we going to offer up to God when we go up here to give worship? Not knowing that his father all along in mind had him in mind as the sacrifice. But because of the obedience of Abraham, and not only that, because the obedience of Isaac, going with his father, not defying his father, but going anyway, even though he knew it was abnormal, he had obedience. He was willing to be the sacrifice. Hallelujah. And because of their obedience, God made provision on the mountain. Hallelujah. So it's imperative in this season, whatever you're going through, you be the sacrifice. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Hallelujah. And as you be obedient to him, watch how he heals. 
as you're obedient to him, watch how he heals. Watch how he delivers. Hallelujah. Healing in your body, yes. Healing in your finances, in your emotions. He can heal. Hallelujah. So many of us are downtrodden nowadays and we're depressed and we're dealing with anxiety. But I tell you, the present to his present. Because the word declares that in his presence is the fullness. It's the fullness of joy. So come on, lift up your hands all over the building. Come on. Open up your mouth and be just a blessing right here in this moment. And I decree and declare as you open your mouth in this moment and as you praise him in this moment and as you cast your cares on him in this moment, he's going to begin to work on your behalf. So come on, come on, let me hear you. Lift up your voices. Come on, come on. You're a great God. You are. Yes, hold up behind God. You're a holy God. You are. You're a righteous God. You are. We love you, Jesus. Come on, say, worship the healer. All over the house, say, worship the healer. Say, worship the healer. Let's go. Say, God is a healer. I don't care what you're facing with tonight. Come on, God is a healer. Say, God is a healer. Now all over the house, say, worship the healer. Come on, say, worship the healer. Come on, get whatever you need for God to do on your mind. Come on, and just begin to sing the song to yourself, worship the healer. Hey, say, worship the healer. Come on, let's get it up right here.
God, that healeth thee. So we thank you, oh God, that you're healing every infirmity tonight. That you're healing, oh God, every disease tonight. That you're healing every sin sick soul tonight. That you're dealing with matters of the heart tonight. That you're dealing with matters of the mind tonight. Yes, God, we break the spirit of depression. Yes, God, we break the spirit of oppression, oh God. We come against anxiety. We come against, oh God, torment in the mind. We come against, oh God, hallelujah, impure thoughts tonight. We come against, oh God, schizophrenic thoughts tonight, God. We break the bands of wickedness off the minds of your sons and daughters. I heard the Lord say that this is a, a free worship tonight. This is a radical worship tonight. So I thank you, God, even now that you're moving every hindrance out of the way so that the worshiper can be vulnerable, that the worshiper can worship in spirit and in truth. For you told us, oh God, that in order for us, oh God, to press into you, we got to, oh God, come before you, oh God, broken, humble, empty us out tonight, God, so that you can fill us. So we thank you tonight that there shall be no broken worshipers. We thank you that we are healed, we are set free, and we are delivered. We thank you that we are the redeemed. We thank you tonight, God, hallelujah, that you're moving through this service, that you're coming in and having your way, that you're healing, oh God, from generational curses tonight. You're breaking, oh God, ungodly relationships tonight. You're severing ungodly soul ties tonight, God. You're healing relationships between mothers and fathers tonight. This is not just a healing for worship, but this is a healing for our hearts. This is a healing for our minds. This is a healing for our spirits. So I decree tonight that every broken spirit will be supernaturally recharged in the Holy Ghost. I thank you that Prophet Zatina told us that he was getting ready to resuscitate. Hallelujah, the worship. So I thank you even now that you're bringing the freshness to the worshiper, that you're changing the pastor, yes, God, of the worshiper. I thank you tonight, God, that we are free worshipers. I thank you that we shall bend our backs and break our bow. I thank you, oh God, that our worship and our posture is changing concerning you. So we come before you, God. We bow in your presence. We bow before you. We tell you, oh God, that we need you. We need you to change something in us, oh God. We need you to stop by here tonight and see about us that our hearts are broken. Our minds are going crazy. Our family is crazy. Our friendships are breaking apart. Our finances are all over the place. But we tonight, God, that you told us that you were the God of more than enough. I thank you tonight, God, that you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So I thank you all tonight, oh God, that you're seeing about the worshiper, that you're stopping by this building to check on your sons and daughters. I thank you that you're renewing us tonight. I thank you that you're reviving us tonight. I thank you that you're restoring us tonight. In the name of Jesus, even now, God, I pray for our relationship with you, God. I pray that you would take us deeper. For you said in your word that the people call us up to the people. So I pray tonight, God, that you will call every person in this room deeper. Call us deeper in prayer. Call us deeper in worship. Call us deeper even in our giving. Yes, God. I pray tonight, God, that you would heal our finances, oh God. I pray that you would heal somebody's money tonight, God. I pray that money will not be the reason why we don't come to church or why we don't participate. Because we feel like we don't have it But we feel like we're not like them That they jump in every line To be seen by men But we thank you tonight God that you know our hearts And I pray tonight that you will heal the heart Of the worshiper That you will heal the heart of the broken And I pray that you will simply have your way Move up and down the aisles Move up and down the aisles Let your healing virtue be released even now God We thank you God that you already are healing Somebody's receiving their healing even now, whether it be spiritual, whether it be natural, whether it be in your money, whether it be in your health, whether it be in your vision, yes, God, I even speak to vision tonight. I command your vision to live. I command your dreams to come alive again. I decree that you would not forfeit or abort the assignment that is on your life in this next season. I pray that God will heal you from everything that is hurting you, everything that is hindering you, and causing you to not reach what God has for you. But say to the Lord God rebukes you I pray tonight God that we leave this place With a new fire A new glory A new power A new enthuse for you God In the name of Jesus So I thank you God That as we progress in service That you continue to pour out your spirit That you continue to use us for your glory Lord just
just be pleased. Just be pleased with our praise. And we'll bless you and we call it done. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we clap up? God praise. Come and give a couple of hands and give God a praise. You receive that. There is an awesome presence in the room. Can anybody feel like me? You feel refreshed already? There is something about the presence of God that shifts everything in our lives. I want to encourage you for the next 30 minutes that we're in the room, don't stay comfortable. I know you've been pushing, I know you've been pressing, I know it's hot. But what God's about to do, you can keep playing something, flip with me. What God's about to do is about to change your life. Yeah. But the thing about God is he responds to our level of faith and our level of expectation. Yeah. So for the next few moments and the rest of the time that we are here, uh, Reverend Christopher, love you, man. Let's celebrate my brother. Let's celebrate him. That's a beautiful vision. This is just the beginning, man, of what God's doing. Yeah. Let's tell God we're going to do something different. Amen. So if you're the person that's saying your seat, I want you to move over, slide to the left. If you can't dance and jump and leap, do something, amen? Y'all gonna respond tonight? And now listen, when I was growing up, the altar was the altar. People came to the altar, they got prayer, they got sacrifice. There's an altar right here. If you want to run to the front and get what you need, come get it, amen? Even if it's just a sign of sacrifice, brother, you said everything I was gonna say, man. <laughs> so we, you're in the vein, bro. A few moments ago, he was praying about healing. And I can literally sense that God wants to do something like that in this room. There is somebody dealing with a sickness. It may be you or your relative, but it's for you just to reach up and grab it. But the thing is about God is if he heals you and you don't give him a yes in a surrendered life, what's the purpose of healing your body for you just to do your own thing? You were created for a purpose. Listen, 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 listen. So if when you worship God, you have to give him a yes. Even more than me asking for a deliverance and a healing in a, in a, in a car, in a house. My prayer is yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! That's the foundation. I said nothing. That's the I know it's slow. And so now we're chilling right now because we don't know how to still tap in when the music go down. But I'm looking for some worshipers that don't mind making some noise and celebrating what God's going to do in your life. Because it's the ultimate experience. Yes, it's about sacrifice, but I'm not sacrificing just, I'm not sacrificing for nothing. Y'all not saying that, I know you've been saying all night, but don't miss yours. Y'all been playing all night, but don't miss yours. Sick and roll. I dare you to lift up your hands and receive. Y'all doing it because I'm asking you to. You're not expecting nothing. You're not expecting, not expecting nothing. I need you to stand to your feet and open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open. Y'all playing with it. That's not the kind of God that I serve. I wish you knew him. I wish you knew I serve the King of Kings. I wish you knew that I serve the... Y'all got you on the telephone. You ain't doing the worship. Your hand ain't lifted all night. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hands. And... Lift up your hands. And... Woo! It's a sacrifice. A praise. When I'm tired, I don't sit down. I stand to my feet and I give it to him anyway. Stay right there. Stay right there. Because he's going to do it. Because he's going to right there. He's going to do it. Woo! He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to heal. He's going to set free. He's going to give you peace of mind, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Woo. And our answer was yes, Lord. Our answer was yes, Lord. Can we get on one accord? Our answer is yes, Lord. whatever you want to do tonight. Yeah. We've been to enough concerts, enough musicals, enough performances, and this is good right here. But I need something personal from you. I wish I had a body of believers that believe that he can do it tonight. And I believe he said the thing between you and that deliverance, that word between you and your healing, that thing between you and your next promotion, is it? 
Yes, I surrender again. Ooh. I'm going to go to my seat. I'm just looking for some worshipers. It's the altar experience. And y'all sitting there looking at me like I'm a performer. I'm a worshiper. I need some worshipers. I just didn't come as a poor Chris. I came to worship God. I came to seek him for my next. For my next. Ooh, I'm going to stop talking because y'all sick of me already. But I came to seek God. Let's lift our hands. Let's lift it. Let's lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul, I answer this this morning, completely yes, my soul, I want to give you it says, yes, Lord, to miss your soul from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Oh, yes, Lord. Well, let me say, Lord, I'm pleading my soul. It says this. I'll obey your word. I'll obey your word from the bottom of my heart. We don't like that. From the depths of my soul. Oh, yes, Lord. Complete yes. My. I surrender again. I surrender again. From the bottom of my heart. That thing you say, stop doing it. I'm about to make that thing aside. To the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Y'all know that. Come, please, please. My soul. Oh, singing, singing. Somebody clap your hands and give God glory in the house. You're going to do it tonight, but as I say this, I surrender again. I'll lay aside every, every weakness so easy to accept you. And I brought this praise with patience. I say yes to them. Yes, I need a deliverance. Yes, I need a car. Yes, I need a job. But yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, that's it, that's it, that's it, tell them that. Yes, Lord. Woo. Woo. Open up, open up, open up, open up. That's what he wants tonight. Yeah. Woo. Come on. Woo. He's gonna do it. I think it'll point to somebody. He's gonna heal your body. He's gonna heal your body. He's gonna heal your body. He's gonna save your marriage. He's gonna do it. I love Jesus. Thank you, Father. You're such an awesome guy. On the way to Chicago, brother, I was thinking that sometimes we throw away songs all the time. We say it's a new season, let's do the, the newest joints or whatever. But sometimes it's the old stuff you gotta just grab back. <laughs> and not even just the old, old, but just the old. Sometimes we throw it, we're like, nah, that ain't, that ain't real worship. God just wants your heart, y'all. But on the way here, I was hearing this. Lord, you are awesome. Yeah. When I think about all the good things you do for me. Lord, you are awesome. Yeah. Do y'all believe that tonight? Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Come on, Josh. I feel your presence. Lord, 
If it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace, what is it? I don't. Can you hear me singing? You know, just one more time, say. If it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace, I don't know. Now turn to your neighbor and say, I serve an awesome God. He's an awesome healer. He's an awesome deliverer. Now listen, worship ain't just slow. Worship can be fast. Y'all tell your neighbor, worship is a relationship with Jesus. Worship, tell somebody, worship is a relationship with Jesus. Y'all ain't saying that the right here on the front row. You ain't saying that it's a, it's a relationship. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's put our hands in it. Do me a favor, say to me, put your hands in the room. There we go. What a channel he goes in.
Come on, Zion, don't lose your sound. Come on, don't lose your sound. Come on, don't lose your sound. Come on, we almost done, but don't lose your sound. Come on, that's breakthrough in the house. Come on, that's healing in the house. Come on, come on, that's it. Come on, deliverance is in the house. Come on, come on. Even encouragement is in the house. Whoa! Come on, whoa! Come on, come on, there's a wind blowing. Come on, open your mouth. His glory is here, his glory is here. His glory is here, his glory is here. Come on, his glory is here, his glory is here. His glory is here. And we reverence your presence, Father. Come on, that's it. Oh! Come on, come on, we almost there. A few more moments, come on. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Come on, he's breaking chains. I hear chains breaking. Come on, I hear chains breaking. Come on, I hear chains breaking. Come on. Yes, Lord. Oh! No, it's not all this, but, but I will not be silent. I will always worship.
I'm pushing you. Come on. this much. She walked into the Zion Temple one Sunday with the cane. Right. By the time she left New Zion Temple, she left without a cane. Come on. And the following Sunday, she ended up running and carrying on. So the baby we still been trying to play, because she was actually supposed, can I tell you? She was supposed to be one of the people that prayed, but the enemy still been trying to attack her body. But I keep hearing it's already finished. It's already finished. It's already finished. I keep hearing. I don't normally do this, but I had to obey God. It's already finished. It's already finished. And can you do me a favor, just for a moment? Point your hands this way. It's all right. 
I don't want, I want to I want to obey, but I want to give your order. Point your hands this way for a moment. And if anybody has any the power of the Holy Ghost, I need you to open your mouth and just begin to go for God and, and declare total healing for my sister too. Come on, open your mouth. This is the altar, right? This is the altar experience. This is where it's supposed to come on. Open your mouth. Come on, intercede on her behalf. As if somebody was interceding for you. Come on, Zion. Total healing. We declare total healing. I tell you. Come on, we declare total healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. We declare total healing. Total healing. He's doing it even now. I see it. He's doing it even now. He's completing the work now. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. It's a complete word. I hear you. It's a complete word. It's a complete word. I hear one more thing. I don't know what this means, but it's even healing in your heart. what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm going, like you say, go with God. I just keep hearing he's healing even your heart. Um, grief. Yeah. And it's been heavy. But he's healing even your heart. Because I'm trying not to do this. Because it's like, uh, but listen, there's so much in you, and you can't die full. You have to, when you leave here, you have to die empty. I see another book. I don't know what that, I'm just seeing what I see. Uh, but I see another book. I don't know what it's about. I just see one. But yeah, he, he, he said he's here. So one more time, can you do one more big favor for me? Go up for sister, my sister Tish for her complete healing. Come on, open your mouth. And what I spoke to her is for some of you too. It's a complete work. All you have to do is receive it. It's a complete work. It's a it's a complete work. Total healing. Why?
And so, yeah, that's what I got for you. Praise God. So give God praise one more time. Tell the Marcus, come on up. Pastor Marcus. But listen, I thank you all for coming. I know we were supposed to sing like two more songs. Five more songs. We ain't got to sing five more songs. And the check's clear. How I praise him. But no, I thank you all for coming out tonight for the first inaugural, whatever you want to call it, altar experience. It has been an amazing time. I thank every last one of you. Major shout out, first of all, to my bishop and my first lady. Come on, celebrate my pastor, Bishop Brennan A. Jacobs. I know he's probably watching. Hey, Bishop, I love you. Of course, shout out to the pastor of this house, Pastor Darrell Smith, for opening up his doors to us and literally let me do whatever it is I want to do. Y'all see this nice screen? He's like, do it so I can see it. But again, thank you. Thank you to my wife, of course. Come on, celebrate my wife, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Um, thank you to my guest, Josh, to, to my mom, uh, Latina Cunningham, to my brother, P.J. Moore, to my brother, David, brother David, he and his mother, he gonna get a beat. <laughs> but no, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, my sis Jen, I put on the spot and she just does what she does. Y'all give a hand for the vocalist herself, Miss Jennifer Jones, I love you so much, love you so much. To Deacon Reverend Taj, thank you for coming. My sis again. Tish, I see uh, the King's Kid is back there. Again, uh, to these amazing musicians, to these amazing singers. Sister Mother Bella, I'm giving everybody names. Praise God. Just do it like. <laughs> Sister Candice, my big sis Jackie, all these great musicians, Brother Quentin, Brother Alex, Brother uh, Christian, and Brother Jeff, I thank you all so much videography, uh, with Brother Will, photography, with Sister Angelica, Sister Courtney, Sister, I'm on it, y'all got to, uh, Brother Clyde, Brother Torino, everybody. Lottie Dottie and everybody, again, thank you so, so much. This is not the last one. Matter of fact, next year, it might be a conference, be on the look out. Not anniversary. <laughs> But we thank God for what he's done even in this place and what you have. Did anybody get anything from God tonight? Don't fool me now. Anybody get anything from God tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. So we're going to have uh, um, Pastor Marcus come on up. and He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to let us get out of here. Real quick, there is a food truck outside because I know after you have a nice church, you want to eat. So there's a nice food truck outside. Please patronize them. Buy up everything, because they're good. They're real good. Amen. And then two, uh, y'all like these nice t-shirts? They're nice, right? Oh, they're for sale right outside. I see Sister Courtney. They're $20. It says, I am the sacrifice, which means present your body. As a little, you know that. Yeah, yeah, praise God. Amen. But again, thank you guys so much. Pastor Marcus. Huh? Oh, my bad. My brother Travis, he's the one who did the shirts. He did my banners. He did the tablecloths. He did, what else he did? He did a lot. He did a lot. lot. Thank y'all again. Thank y'all so much. Thank you to my New Zion Temple family. I see you. Thank you to my Cosmo family. I see you as well. Um, and Sister Tish, Bruce, we love you, Sister dear. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Come on, clap your hands together for Jesus, everybody. Was tonight not amazing? Was tonight not amazing? We had a great time in the presence of God, and I believe that God deposited something into each and every one of us that was here. Amen. We heard that God is going to get down on the inside of us and heal those broken places that we are not talking about, that we are not comfortable dealing with, even in our own flesh. Those places in us that 
that only God can work out. I thank God that he's healing those things in the beginning. Amen. On tonight. Amen. And we want to give big. We want to sow into what God has done tonight. We saw excellence. We saw order. We saw preparation. We saw time and energy put into this event. And me and man, we want to make sure we sow back into this event, this movement, and this man of God in a great big way tonight. Huh? Amen. We want to sow real big. Amen. There are three ways to give. You can give at on sale at info at the cistudios.com. Cash app. The Resound WA. And in person, you can give through cash or credit. Huh? So everybody that can, amen. I'm going to, everybody that can, stand with me with the Z to $25 tonight. Amen. $25. Amen. All those that can, get your best seed. $25. No less than $25. We can do it tonight, can't we? We can do it tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Our sacrifice, amen, doesn't stop with just our voices. We can sacrifice with our giving as well. Amen, we want to sacrifice tonight. Amen, into what God is doing. Amen. Amen, when you have your seed, amen, stand. When you have your best seed, stand to your feet. Let me know you're sowing. Let me know you're sowing. Amen. To my right, your left, amen. If you need to swipe your card, amen. Sister Courtney C. Michelle, amen, is right here. <laughs> right here to, to take your credit card. Real quick, I have to shout out my sister Latoya in the back. She's back there. Um, she did food and she did uh, lemonade for the guests. Yeah. It was bomb. So I'm sorry, I don't know. What is happening back here? Is she selling it? Sister, are you selling? She right there. Are you selling? Oh, she's selling some of it too. So if you don't want the food truck, go back there and see it. I promise you that lemonade is going to bless you. Get you a cup. I'm so serious. All right. Hey, Sharonda. All right, well, you got your seat. Come on, bring it from wherever you are, amen. If you give it on your phone, just wave your phone at me. Let me know you're gay. Amen. Thank y'all so much for being a blessing. Thank you so much for blessing. Hallelujah. This is good for us. sewing tonight. Amen. Amen. Again, tonight was such an amazing time in God, and we're grateful that this is just the beginning of what we're going to see through the ministry and the life of Minister Chris Johnston. Come on. Come on. Let's make some noise for the man of God one more time. Let's encourage him. Let's continue to pray for him. Let's continue to amen. Be there for him. Let's stand to our feet as we prepare to go. Amen. We're going to bless the offering and give the benediction at the same time. Amen. Father, we thank you for this seed. Amen. Thank you for those who had, those who had. Now we pray that you would bless this seed. Use it for the upbuilding of your kingdom in Jesus' name. And now, Father, as we leave this place, but never your presence, we pray that God, you would cover us under your blood. Keep us safe from harm. Where did you be with us now? And let everything that you poured into us tonight, let it not, oh God, leave us, but let it be deposited in us and strengthen us and make us better. Be with us now, Father. Give us traveling grace and mercy to our various homes and destinations. For this, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen.
Yeah.